Well, this is a new quick coupler. Uh, first one building's for a Kabato 210 or basically a 200 size machine. Depends on top fit. Um, in this case, they're welded in so that they can snap onto one of my quick couplers. The uh, advantage to this is that it'll do all the buckets from my smaller machines and the bigger machines in the 210. So my 300 Komatsu buckets, my uh, 150 Blade Runner, my 120 buckets, uh, this coupler will handle all of them. And it makes it very useful for doing different things. Sometimes you need lighter duty buckets, sometimes you need bigger buckets, you, you're hauling lighter stuff. Um, sometimes you've got two machines that are close, but nothing matches. And now you can uh, use them all. So you don't have to buy a bunch of extra, extra buckets. This right here is the nut that tightens back and forth to adjust the uh, rear coupler. Uh, the shape of this is set up to handle the different size pins, the front and the back, to bite into them. The holes right here are for a hitch pin to go in or uh, a bolt, whatever you want to bolt in, so that this can't turn once you tighten it up for safety. Let me turn on a pin right here. This right here would be for a 120 machine, these pins. And uh, you can see where the hit on here, the, where the Quick coupler goes down, how it bites it, holds it, and like I said, you pin it to uh, hold it still there for safety. I want to change the view so you can see through it. You can see in here we've got a screw going. Uh, that's that's what that nut is on right there. And that screw runs inside this uh, rear hanger uh, that adjusts about eight inches of different adjustment because your bigger buckets are wider at the center pin line. So then I, if I want to use a uh, 200 bucket pin, I can got 200 bucket pins and you can see this, we just basically tighten up the uh, quick coupler. And you can see how it fit against there firmly. And then again, lock the pin. So the, the next one I can go into is the uh, 300 Komatsu bucket I've got. And uh, same thing goes, it's a wider spread yet, so I'll just take it, put it in, we'll crank it up to it until it holds it tight between the top and the bottom. And you got your uh, pins on your bucket held. And you make the width of it for the smallest bucket. Um, so you might have some back and forth uh, left and right that it could be off center of the bucket. Or you could basically put shims in there if you want, but don't think it's really necessary. Um, this coupler is very simple. Uh, it's very, uh, very strong. This is two inch thick steel, an inch and a half up for the ears, inch and a half on the base plate. Uh, and you can see how the uh, center columns welded up through there. That's it. That's uh, kind of explains the uh, whole concept of the fits all coupler that we're building. And, uh, any questions, give me a call at 590-8251, 317 area code, and it's Thank you.